Hello everybody, Bonsenin speaking. Um, this is vlog number 13. Um, this is one of the vlogs that I said that I've had in my list of priorities. Now, I think this is very profound. I do. And and hopefully you see that, that I think the more you think about this, the more profound it gets. Because this is another subject that is very much for the rest of your capoeira training, the rest of your life as a capoeirista, I should say. Um, you're going to deal with this. This could be kind of the main thing, really, because it's to do with playing, to do with the games, okay? So what I want to talk about today is the idea of levels and matching the levels between you and whoever you're playing now i'm sure you've heard you probably heard from masses i heard from all the masses saying every time you play with someone it's a different game of course you know and you play according to the person in that game you take what you know, you take your style, but you apply in that game. Some masters talk about that in, you know, in depth, others not so much, but some masters really talk about the fact of how do you morph, how do you play each person. Now, so the first thing I want to, to start to talk about is that I think this idea of being able to understand the other, to match the levels, it's going to start to make you ask some really interesting questions. So, to begin, I did a little, uh, wrote something, did a little drawing, I don't know if you can see here. That says you and your friend, your camarada, okay? Now, just as an illustration, let's say you, you are up here, that's your level. Because you've been doing capoeira for much longer than this person, you are very experienced, you, you train or whatever, you, your level is up here. Now I'm using this idea of up and down just to illustrate the point. And your friend is down here, the level is down here, okay? So let's call it this a beginner, okay? I don't have to call it a beginner, it could be someone I have been training for a while, but that's the level, okay? So, so there is a difference here. Now, this could, if not done properly, resembles something that is not connected level-wise, okay? Not to say that you have to be the same level to play. Let me just get to the, to the point and you see what I mean. So what I think, this is something I use very much. I have had many great feedbacks from masters and people saying to me, oh, I really appreciate the way you play beginners, for example. I'm gonna show you how this also has to do with when you play someone what what happens when that flips the other way around? But for now, I want to begin with this because I might need to do another video to talk about the other side of the story. Okay, so this is this is um, we won't be just looking at this this way. So I think that what you have to do, you must come down to the level of the other one who is more beginner than you. And then, because you're more experienced, you try to bring that person's level up. So, what has happened here, you came down to this level, okay? And you try to bring both of you up in terms of knowledge, in terms of interaction. Now, what do I mean by come down to the level? So many points there to think about straight away. Speed is one of them. And also, you might be playing someone that is... Again, I'm using the, for the first this first bit. I'm using a beginner as an example, someone who is starting now or less experienced. So, speed will be a major factor. I mean, you can probably think of what would happen if someone that is more advanced is just fast and is just kicking around. I see this happening quite often. You know, some people get hurt because the person who is more advanced, it's not really appreciating the others the other one level. So when you come down to that person's level, or when at least you try to understand, because I mean, this is not something you're gonna go to a hard and do it straight away. This is a 
this is many years of practice but neither you should be just randomly doing nothing not doing anything for many many years and then randomly starting to understand that if i can help you start to understand that now whatever basic level you will take in then obviously in 10 years time you'll be a master of this you'll be able to do that so elegantly so to come down to the person's level to match the speed to appreciate the the way the person is moving to give space for the person to do movements then once you establish that you can start to obviously bring both up this is not i'm not saying that this is about just going down to the level and stay there and then we might need to do that for a while as well to improve mechanics of the, the person's game the your friend's game but of course you will start to show oh you you mark a movement or you open up here too much or don't turn this way oh watch my foot so you can start to surprise them in 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 a level that they are, they are not there yet but because you've done that matching the connection can be stronger and greater and you can that person almost appreciate i quite I, I, often i joke to my students about this that i get away with a lot because sometimes i'm being quite tough on them you know I'm, i give them a cabezado something tough with respect and and they and they will come out and say thank you mess that was great and, and then i joke about say see i'm beating you up and you're thanking me but that's because they know why i'm doing four and it's obviously i said beating up but that's not like that of course um but they appreciate the the challenge because it's not here and they're there and it's just you know it's quite an ugly thing to when you see someone who is just exercising day level on top of someone else now i'm not going to say i haven't done this because i have you know i admit that you know immature but but then again if you come out with that feeling like, mm, that wasn't very nice you know or that was too much or sometimes not enough as well i've played people that that's what i say that this video has to have another one okay i have played people that i thought mm, i should have gone a bit more i didn't push enough i did not i wasn't a great challenge today for that person whatever level challenge let's not think the challenge is only about hating no could be a challenging expression that person is doing some beautiful stuff and i was not really giving anything as well you see but by by starting thinking about this you start to ask some really interesting questions as i said one of them you start to say so i wrote here this could be very nourishing this kind of connection this could be very challenging because then you can start to challenge the right time the right person this gives a lot of discovery and that's one of the reasons why i think this is very profound now i don't like to use the word secret because it it's sometimes attached to this cult like i have a secret but i'm going to use that this is because this is the kind of thing that if you practice for many years and you can do some things and if you don't share it's kind of a secret really so when you start to share that's why i say you should there should be no secrets because we should share this stuff um, and the more you do this you're going to have better challenges for you to play so that's the other point it's not about you being oh look how good i am because you know it's about actually you will get better as well even in a slightly selfish way by doing this because you get better because you're going to have better challenge you're going to have people that then understand your game more trying to find other things so then you have to auto maneuver that so you everybody benefits from this but you start to ask some questions as i said many times one, so you will ask questions such as ah with you i can be more challenging ah with you i need to be more careful oh with you i, I need to be more expressive i can be more expressive and then i wrote a big massive it takes practice because of course as i said i mean you can get some immediate benefits né? quick fix as we say but 
if you start to use some of your games to practice that and you enter the hall and you can feel that you are trying to, trying to match that level it's not as complicated as it may sound you know if you have the basics it's quite easy i mean that's what can make uh, um, i've used this example before but that's the kind of philosophy that can make an, an adult play a child or someone elderly or someone that has some disability but we all readjust we adjust that very well when we are in front of a child in a harder or when you play someone who you know is less able physically you know but sometimes we might pass that when we play someone that apparently is you know, obviously <laughs> not a child but apparently well able you know I've even had examples of people that come across as very good as very fast but I know that if I kick a hub higher really fast that person cannot escape so some people even send this gets wonderful guys and gets profound because some people even send not conscious but they even send the wrong signals so you have to be a real pro like you have to understand poker's face some people might be sending the signals that they are a little bit naive and they are not and some people might be sending a signals that they are quite good and they are not <laughs> well say they're not good but they they might be quite confident in some things that they do but they're actually not fast enough to to escape which is why i will use the philosophy that Major Piquen used to say which is a capoeirista have to have a break and he said corpo freado it's really beautiful that from this great master say you've got to be able to break when you need to break you know in case of a hub jahai or you're gonna kick someone that kind of stuff so it starts to ask those questions and starts to think about mirroring each other finding the connections in the level and then how to come up again and I will do another vlog about when we flip this over as well because the, I, I do believe it comes to a time with some especially if you know a person that you play quite often okay but I mean to say nothing about the fact that all of this will give you so much experience to play someone that you've never played before that's another very good point about this but if you know the person you play quite often I do believe by personal experience with my students that comes to a tipping point where you don't really have to come down to any level you just stay where you are because you know that person is quite it can start to reach that level more so it becomes a really nice challenge for them to be like oh I, want, I need to I now I need to try to match my level I need to try to match with yours now can you see what I mean by that um, so but there is a there's a scale where you have to come down the person have to come up and live so with both it's just that if you're more conscious and you're more experienced obviously it's much easier for me to tell a, a, a advanced person to learn how to come down than if I me just to say to a beginner you've got to come up to my level well if I've been doing capoeira for 30 years I can't just tell a beginner to come up to my level I need to use my level to understand the beginner um, nevertheless it comes to a point where you start to, to tip over and that person is good enough now to match and you don't have to be as I said coming down to that level okay so have a think about that and um, I shall write a little bit more about this because um, I always try to is, is squeeze in, um, in the 15 minutes for this vlog but we had a long discussion about this in one of my classes and we came up with some really interesting points about the about how profound it is to to understand who you play okay it's perhaps the core the, the, the spirit of the game is to be able to do that and you'll understand yourself way more when you do that obrigado thank you